Good morning, this is Genevieve Flynn at Genevieve Flynn Studio. I am a silversmith for those of you that are not familiar with me. My work has always been based in silver and gold. However, last September I started a process called Pot de Verre, which is a glass process, and I've been trying to incorporate some of my pieces into some of the Pot de Verre pieces into my silverwork. So, Dizzy Otter, this is what you ask about. You wanted to know what happened after I showed the pictures of the um, mold with the wax in them and that I was steaming out the wax. Well, here you go. Here is the tulip blossom. And you can see that the blue wax stained the plaster mold. So now that this is cleaned out, Busy Otter, Last night, I packed it, the bulb, with glass frit. Now, the frit comes in different grades or sizes, and so I just thought I'd show you the different sizes. So let me get something to show you with. So this one is a clear, transparent, fine frit, and it's clearly from bullseye glass. And here, can you see the grains? It's a little bigger than sugar, I would say. And then I have some powders, and again, from bullseye glass, and this is the fine, this is what I, compared to an enameling powder. It's very, very fine. So those, and you can see, I'll lift up my camera. I have a small assortment of powders, and then I have some of the larger frit in colors back in um, a storage area. So what I do is I put some of this let's just say this medium amber color into a small plastic container like this. I'll get it in there just to show you. And then I would take a sifter and some of the powder and I would sift it over the surface of the area that I would want this color to be placed. Once done, generally I don't put the powder back into the container, but I've not used it or exposed it to anything else than itself, so i put it back in. So that's what I've done. So this one, I'm going to wrap back up in a wet paper towel because these plaster molds, this, okay, I'm going to experiment with this, see what happens. General rule of thumb, let me get this under it, the mold is moist enough that it holds the frit in place. So when I do that, yeah, a couple of little pieces fell out, but nothing. So it needs to stay wet or moist. So I will wrap that one as soon as I dump this out. Okay, so I will wrap this back up and gently I'm gonna just kind of fold it around the edges because I don't want the paper towel to actually get into the glass because it would pull it out. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc baggie. I'm going to cover it up because I'm gonna fire both of these pieces when this one's done. I'll fire them together. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today showing you um, this finished pieces or maybe some pictures of some of the different layers that I'm going to put into it. And then I'm going to start working on a 
clay model that will be the shade for these two pieces to be attached to. So that's it for now. Stay safe and healthy, everybody.